Hey everyone, in this episode we're going to have a look at the different types of game modes that are available in Minecraft Education Edition. Okie dokie, so there are three main game modes and we're, we're going to go through them just by basically looking at them and we'll go through a bit of an explanation of what each one means. So here, uh, what I'm actually going to do is start by creating new. Let's go new again. And essentially what you'll notice is that the, the your game modes will come up here. Now the default at the moment is survival. Um, and you really got to think of the game mode is dependent on what you want the students to do. So survival is really the game, the real game base, the playing it as a game um, setting. Um, so students will need to survive. They will need to, you know, hunt and gather and eat and um, use the crafting tables, use all of those game features to interact. Most of the time in the education world, we have students as creators, as in we are asking them to build visual representations of their understanding of a topic. And survival probably won't be your best mode for that. So what you want to do is you want to click down and you want to move here to creative. Now creative mode, let's go into it. I'm just going to quickly name this world and start loading it. Creative mode is just full open slather. We've got full inventory, um, depending on whether you're hosting or whether you're letting them into their own space, it's going to be dependent on some other controls inside that space, but let's have an actual look. So let's say if I was asked to um, create something in this space, um, the students will open up their inventory and so the full inventory is here. Okay, so the full access to everything that is available. Now, obviously like some things um, won't work depending on whether you, you, want to, you want to be in the nether or something, but we'll leave the nether to another time. Um, and students don't necessarily need to craft anything because it's all available. So from here, essentially, if we look at the other modes, if we, um, and I'm going to show you how to do them through chat commands. So if we hit enter on our keyboard and then we go forward slash, this one's actually really nice to remember. It's just, a, it's what you're looking for. It's called um, game mode. And then you can either type the whole world or you can basically, you know, just put the letter for it. So if we go to, let's go A, because that's the first one there, which means adventure, okay? And then it's you hit enter and it's gonna ask you for who, and then so normally you wanna do it for the whole class. You could just do individuals. I've done that before. Um, at A is all, and then we hit enter. And then it will affect myself as well. And what you'll notice is my inventory is actually empty. There's nothing um, here. And so we've got this kind of, crafting table part turned on, but I haven't collected um, anything necessarily. And adventure is um, adventure's really good for kind of those pre-designed worlds where you don't want the students necessarily destroying everything. You can see here that I can't actually destroy anything here and nor can I go and get anything and bring it over in my inventory. Even if I go forward slash give, this is the give command, um, so at self and I go, Let's be really boring. Grass. Okay, <clears throat> there it is there. And I can't even place it, even though it's in my hotbar, which is cool, but I can't do anything with it. It's just a little bit boring. Our next one, if we go back to it again, so game mode, and then let's try S for survival. There we go. <clears throat> We've got this little health bar as well that's come down the bottom, the heart and that. Our survival, as I said, that's kind of the true Minecraft game environment if we look at the inventory very similar to before it is um empty um there's nothing there i've still got my grass block here but i can place things down okay that's the big difference there so if i go back and just show you i give you that give myself that grass block again is i can actually place things so as i'm going through the world i might find things and i can actually use and build and interact with those things our last mode is going back to where we were. So it would be forward slash game mode C, creative, and that's just back to where we were. Full open slather is what you want of what you want to do. Now, 99% of the time, you're probably just going to, if you're planning and you've planned the lesson out, um, and you just want students to come in to build, you'll just want them straight into creative mode. 
your survival and your adventure modes might more so come into play if you're pulling up someone else's resource or you've created a resource yourself and that mode best suits that environment i hope you found that useful guys and we will see you again soon cheers if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and to keep up to date don't forget to follow us if you have any questions feel free to write them in the comment section cheers